meeting to order. This is the select board meeting of July 6, 2021. And um, for those of you who may not know us, I'm Joe Swanson. And I'm Mary Riley. Ray Bourgeois. Um, we need three select board members present to call the meeting to order, and um, I'm doing that now. Um, our first order of business is any additions or deletions to the posted agenda. Hearing none, we'll proceed. The next item is citizens' comments, and I'd ask you to bear with me while I read a statement that I have. The select board has agreed to take no additional testimony from either side of what has become a divisive effort. I believe Mrs. Faulkner would be disappointed in what has become of us over her park given for rest as a quiet space. The history of Mary Ann Faulkner brings me to hear her saying, this is a free gift. Why are you fighting over it? I think I know how wonderful it could be if we take a park, the park, and within a day an opponent's letter reminds me of the unproven horror of doing just that. A letter writer posted a repeat notice similar or maybe one of the same as the many that accompanied the letter written to me in May. At least I did recognize the name of the individual as one that has written many times in opposition. So you see we have reviewed the letters, heard and read many testimonials. Also, we have received and reviewed intently all the copies and pertinent articles of Mrs. Faulkner's will. This information has been provided, read, and reviewed since November 2019. What I have never read or reviewed is Mrs. Faulkner considering legal action against the town of Woodstock. Never. Not once. Not even a hint. We have heard from Woodstock residents, part-time residents, and many non-residents who have also repeatedly submitted their support for the park being transferred to the town, as well as those opponents who object strongly. The division between those who wish and those who do not wish for the town to take over ownership of Faulkner Park must end. The select board hopes the reunification of the people of Woodstock begins with this meeting. The trust's final offer to the town is an endowment of $850,000 and nothing more. The select board's request for additional funds was turned down. That's all I have to read today. <coughs> And I just want to remind everyone that the initial proposal was to convey ownership of Faulkner Park to the town of Woodstock with the endowment for care and maintenance of the park. And that is the proposal that we are voting on this morning. Thank you. And if there is nothing else under citizens, Bob Holt? Um, yeah, I just have one question. Uh, to the select board's knowledge, or to the knowledge of your lawyer, has the Vermont Attorney General's Office taken a position yet regarding whether the trust proposal is consistent or inconsistent with the term of Mrs. Faulkner's will? A few minutes after 9 o'clock this morning, I received an email from an attorney connected with um, the trust and nothing formal has been submitted to him or to us as of this time. And I think I speak for everyone here at this table who is in the capacity of public notice officials that we have not had a formal ruling. The last I was aware and told was that the Attorney General's office um, wished that if 
the transfer was approved, that the procedure should start, and it would go to the AG's office and eventually probate court, who would have the final say and issue a decree. That's what I know this morning. That is all I know as of now. Um, I can't tell you any more, Bob. Thank you for your question. Thank you. Okay, so now we'll proceed. <coughs> Kevin, this is going to be the last question if this has to do with Faulkner Park because we are not taking any other testimony. Okay. All right. What is, why would the town of Woodstock, as busy as the town is, why would they want to take this over? What's the benefit to the town? Take they have been, um, they have been published. The um, Billings Park Commission has had a campaign where they have written those letters and they have all been in the paper. You're welcome to um, see any of the information that we have. There are many proponents of the proposal. And in fairness to all of those who are here on the Zoom and anywhere else who have written in opposition, I think it is only fair that we end that kind of testimonial conversation right now. Thank you, Kevin. Come and see me. I'll show you everything I have. Thank you. Okay. So we will proceed. Um, the question is whether or not to approve the offer of conveyance of Faulkner Park to the town of Woodstock. I propose a motion to decline a proposal of J.P. Morgan Chase's transfer of Faulkner Park to the town of Woodstock as it stands, as the office stands. I'll second. Motion has been made and seconded to decline the offer of J.P. Morgan Trust to transfer ownership of Faulkner Park to the town of Woodstock. I'll call for a vote. All those in favor of the motion to decline the offer, please say aye. 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 Any opposed? Carries up there. Carries up. Carries up. Okay, good. Um, <clears throat> any opposed? Motion carries. Four votes to none. One member is not present. The motion carries. We will not at this time accept transfer of the park. Um, for for those who are here, it is four, and John is not here, so Thank he you. is not voting. Thank you. But all four, Carrie is present on Zoom. Joe, um, Ray, and I voted in favor of the motion to decline the offer. Thank you. Moving on to the manager's report. Okay. And I just have one thing, Mary. Uh, the paving project is still going along on Route 4, 106, and 12. I believe at this stage they are still working on line striping and finishing up crosswalks. So I don't have a final timeline, but I'll continue. We, we continue to get updates from pipe paving, and I think they're doing a very good job and a very professional job. So um, I think we've been very fortunate in that respect. So I'll keep you updated on that. Thank you, That's Bill. all I have this morning. Okay. Thank you. We have oh, a Bill, Bill, I found a question. Do you know when they'll be um, tending to people's driveways and things that have gotten damaged? I don't, but I can I can follow up with Matt and Megan on that. Terrific, thank you. Sure, you're welcome. Thanks, Carrie. Um, moving on, we have a couple of overweight truck permits, which we will review at this time. Richard Sargent, business owner in Heartland, Vermont. And Eric Thorpe, South Stratford, Vermont. Both of these um, businesses have had overweight vehicle permits from the town of Woodstock in years past. 
They've submitted their certificates of insurance. And while John is not with us to give his final stamp of approval, I would propose that um, someone make a motion to approve these contingent I, upon John's final I'll, okay. I'll make that motion. Thank you, Joe. I'll second it. Motions made and seconded to approve overweight truck permits as submitted with um, contingent upon John Doton's final okay. All those in favor, please say aye. 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 Thank you. Any opposed? Motion carries. Overweight truck permits are granted. We have a request to cater malt, vinous, or spiritus liquors by Cordwood Events, LLC, also known as La Pizza Lupo, which will be a food truck located at the East End Park, um, or near the East End Park, not exactly in the property of the East End Park. The property is privately owned. It has a permit from um, Planning and Zoning to operate a truck there um, on several days through the end of the summer season. And um, they've applied for a liquor license. Um, I'll make a motion to accept. I'll second it. Motions made and seconded to um, grant a permit to serve um, beer and wine, and spiritus liquors, um, in an area near the East End Park to Cordwood Events, LLC, doing business as La Pizza Lupo. The organization is based in Royalton, Vermont. All those in favor, please say aye. 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 Any opposed? Motion carries. Liquor license is granted. We have already voted on the proposal for Faulkner Park, so we'll move forward. Um, appointment of our municipal manager, Bill Cur Kerbin, as our authorized representative for ARPA funds. While we approved at a previous meeting that he would be our signer for all the documents therein related, we did neglected to appoint him as our authorized representative throughout the session of accepting the funds and um, plans for their use and reporting what they're going to be used for, where and when, and throughout the plan period until it expires. So I would like a motion to do that at this time. I'll make that motion. Also. A second. Motion's made and seconded to appoint Municipal Manager Bill Kerbin as our authorized representative as related for the ARPA funds, which will be coming from the government for the recovery from the pandemic. pandemic. All those in favor, please say aye. 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 Any opposed? Aye. Motion passes. Well, Bill. <laughs> there you go. Get your pen out. I think this this could be a, a quite a long process. Yeah, I've well, watched others, so yes. thank you. You're welcome. And just to be cl clear on that, that so we'll be having we'll be bringing that up further. How we're going to spend those funds at the joint meeting. At the so just to be clear, so I'm not. I don't want people to think that I'm going to be oh, deciding no. that. Right. So I just wanted to be clear on that. I'm no. going to be your your representative. And yeah. More in the, administra the administration of the of the funds. We're so. planning a joint meeting of the select board and the board of village trustees on um, Thursday, which will be, I believe, the 15th. 15th, correct. Um, uh, July 15th. And that will be here at 6.30 p.m.? I believe that's, I believe it's 6.30 or is it 6? Is it 6? I, I, I think it might be 6. All right. Yeah. We will post it. We'll post so it. be sure to pay attention to the town's um, website. We will post the meeting. It's an open meeting. And throughout the expenditure of these funds, once they're received, et cetera, this will come up in future meetings often as we um, decide and try to agree on how we're going to spend that money. Mary? Yes. Uh, Kareem has a question. Okay. 
hey, good morning, everyone. I have a good question morning. on the ARPA, but, but before I just wanted to know, you know, whether you were for or against the whole Faulkner thing. I'm, I'm, I'm very impressed coming from a big city to see local government at its best and how things happen. So, um, so hats off to everybody. Um, on the on the ARPA fund bill, thank you. And and I know, as you said, Mary, that that there's going to be updates. Bill, do you do you have an indication, um, even if it's a range number, as far as what we might be getting from those funds uh, X to Y? Can can you share that number? Yes. So this summer, as of the latest, and unfortunately, it has, it has gone down. We are, we will be getting the town will be getting 107,000. Approximately, it's a little bit. It's a little, it's a little over 107,000 this summer, and then the approximate same figure next summer. So, Great. And All right. The village, and, and, will, and the village will be getting a different amount. The village will be getting approximately 44,000 this summer. Okay. Then, thank you. And oh, and are those to be appropriated to specific usage, or we have some sort of discretion as to what we will what there, we there, can do with them? There are four categories. So you have anything that's been COVID COVID related. So that can mm -hmm. include anything from like signage to hazard pay things like that there's also a category to aid the businesses mm -hmm. uh, there's lost revenue and that's very specific lost revenue and then the final thing is infrastructure which includes broadband sewer and water and, and we would be allowed to put the hundred percent of the funds against one category if if we decide to, to do so right i believe that is correct yes it, all right right we you. have the discretion to do that yes Jill Davies. And I was wondering if you had any more information about the other grants that were all talked about with great excitement some while ago, beyond the 214,000. Are you, um, no, which grants, I'm sorry, Jill, which grants? Oh, they, I don't know that it was ever specified, but we, we were talk, told the money, some money would come directly to towns, and there would also be other state mm -hmm. money given to the states to share. Well, yes, yeah, sure. well, yes, that, and that is a good point, because like the, Agency for Natural Resources is going to be getting a lot of money, which we are, we are actually looking at right now, which could go towards the South Woodstock plant. So, and I believe some of the other agencies, I don't have specifics on those, but there is going to be more money coming to the state. In addition to that, there is approximately $10 million that's going to be coming to the counties, which should be going back to the state. I don't think that's been finalized, but I think there has been discussions on that. So we could be we could be in a position to get even more funding. So nothing's been finalized on that. So uh, do we have, um, are, we, are we getting some idea about the work that needs to be done at the main wastewater treatment plant as well to be ready to put that in? Not at this point. That's going to be something that uh, the engineer is going to be working on this year because there's money in the budget for that, for that engineering study to start. So, but we don't have that at this point. So could, can we speed that up a little bit so that we're ready? Sure, we can. I mean, that was, it's in the works. I can't, you know, I can't really speak to the engineer, but we're, I've been talking to them, and um, I think they're aware of that. So, well, our fiscal year is only six days old. Right. So yes, we'll yeah. move forward. Yeah. So, and it's, we're and we're aware of the, you know, the importance of getting that. Yes, we can because we all recognize the importance. And that's, uh, that's been the one word that's come through all the time. Is the environment right? Environmental mm -hmm. protection is a very important event um, is the, the concept that gets so much attention in Vermont and we're fortunate for that. So once we get moving, which I hope is soon, we should go right along. Great, thank you. Those thank estimates you. come quickly and they come with big price tags yes. as we all know. If I may, Mary, add, add something uh, please on, on, on that. Given that the price tag that was given on South Woodstock fell short of, I, I believe, what, um, what some of the contractors came back to us, um, it behooves us to make sure that maybe they should take their time a little bit more and give us a more accurate estimate because the main plan is going to be expensive. You are right, Kareem. And yep. based on what we have seen, in every area of price increase since the pandemic shut us down in March of 2020, mm -hmm. I think we are all well aware of the sticker shock that we saw in South Woodstock and will look at all other cost projections with caution and 
anticipated expectations of grandeur by the time we get to a finished product, which is okay. not not saying that with a smile, but I'm facing the truth. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Do you have anything else? I don't. All right. Thank you. Thank you. We will go now to um, other business. Do we have other business this morning? Anything new? Anything we haven't thought about? Okay. Approval of minutes of the meeting of June 15th. 2021. I make a motion to approve the minutes. I'll second the motion. I'll second. Motions made and seconded to approve minutes of our meeting of June 21, of June 15, 2021. All those in favor, please say aye. 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 Any opposed? Motion carries. Minutes are approved as submitted. Um, there are any other questions or anything we can give you answer for you today? Yes, yes, Mary. I have a quick one, and, and that's been discussed before with actually uh, Bill and Ray. But Bill, we, we, did you get a chance to get an update on uh, by any chance fixing those three lights that are out on that bridge? Yes, uh, I talked to Elijah this morning about that. Um, the, because of the, the setup there, the electrician needs to do some extra work, but I know Elijah was going to talk to them, talk to them about getting a time, time frame on getting that done. So that, that's okay. what's been the hold up. So yeah. All right, because so they've been out for quite a few yeah, months I, now. Yeah. But that, and, yeah. and I worry that by the time we get them fixed, there might be others that go out. Um, if, if there would be a way to get that process fixed. I mean, if one of them is out, frankly, it's okay, but three of them are out on one side. So it makes the bridge look kind of, um, strange in a town that's considered one of you know the cutest and most beautiful towns you know in the u.s so so uh yeah so if they, if they could tend to that 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 would be sure. fantastic thanks sure. bill you're welcome thank you Karim. all right i see no other business i see no questions to come before us um i'd like to hear a motion for adjournment of this meeting i'll make a motion to adjourn second Okay. Motions made and seconded to adjourn the meeting of July 6th at the Select Board. All those in favor, please say aye. 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 Any opposed? Non-debatable. Motions stand adjourned at 1025. Thank you all. Thank you.